What is going on, Java Minecraft players? I like to play Minecraft Java Edition with Mojo Launcher, or they like to play with Amethyst Launcher. Today, I'm going to debunk something. I'm going to debunk whether or not Mojo Launcher is better than Amethyst, or if Amethyst is better than Mojo Launcher, or if both of these launchers just absolutely suck and Zaleth Launcher is the ultimate launcher of all time. <laughs> Yeah, people like to start wars for no reason, and that's why I said that like that, because I don't even think yeah, Zaleth Launcher is better than both of these launchers, or all three of these launchers, or four of these launchers, because there's Foldcraft, but I won't even go there, because I don't use Foldcraft. I don't even know it exists half the time. Now, the big thing is to know is that Mojo Launcher is developed by somebody named ArtDev, and they are the one that was part of the Pojav Launcher team once upon a time ago. And Amethyst is the continuation of Pojav Launcher, which is still developed by a lot of the people that were working on Pojav Launcher, but Pojav Launcher is now dead. Okay, that just to get that out of the way, so you don't know the difference. Mojo Launcher looks exactly the same as amethyst launcher still both basically the same if you didn't even know any difference if you go split left split right mojo launcher is on the right and amethyst is on the left just a little bit of a different ui other than the fact that they all both basically look the same now when it comes to performance people always say mojo launcher is the best because it's got ltw and then some people say amethyst is better because it's got mobile glues yeah, and people are pretty ridiculous when they compare both of these renders because each render has its own benefits and each one has its own flaws. And today we're just gonna do something and check that out. So this is the mobile glues render on the left-hand side. I'm not using angle because I don't need to. And these are my settings for mobile glues, okay? And this is my resolution scaler. Now LTW doesn't have any settings like that. We can't change anything, okay? So LTW can't change nothing, okay? That's, that's the way it is and that's how you use it. Now my resolution scale is set to 75%. These are my other settings right here and that's it. Now let's go back. Let's go back again. Whoops, what did I just do? I turned off something, turn that off not vsync now control customization don't need to do anything in there but my java tweaks i'm going to show you how much ram i have allocated to each one because i have a 12 gigabyte device i can allocate four to five gigabytes of ram that's it there's nothing else you need to see other than the fact that we are going to go into the main homepage now and notice that i'm using a mod pack that i actually created for everybody on mobile by the way called opti mobile now opti mobile is a mod pack that has sodium in it it works i tested all versions of the this mod pack on even lower end devices so if you've come here and said oh it's not working that's probably because you didn't set it up properly or you're not using the right renderer make sure you're using mobile glues if you're using amethyst make sure you're using ltw if you're using mojo launcher the only reason why i don't do anything about mojo launcher on the channel is just because I support Amethyst and I use Zaleth Launcher on the most part. The only time I use Amethyst is when I wanna use Controllable or Controllify. That's the only time I use it, okay? Um, I don't really use Amethyst all that much, but I do have some guides on the channel on how to set it up and use it if you want to use it. The only reason I don't use Amethyst right now is because of all the features that Zaleth Launcher has. Zaleth Launcher has a downloader for your mods, your mod packs, your resource packs, your worlds, and your shader packs, all in one little launcher. It's freaking awesome. It's like Modrinth for Android, but we're not going there today. Today, we are doing a performance test uh, against Mojo Launcher with LTW and Amethyst with Mobile Glues. Now, before we get into that part of the video, we're gonna go into the subscribe button. Yeah, I did that. I put a plug in there for a subscribe, okay? If you haven't subscribed already, then do so. If you wanna learn how to set up Amethyst, check out my playlist in the video link below. And also, again, don't hit that subscribe button if you already have, because that means that you unsubscribed. So let's go into Mojo Launcher first. Mojo Launcher, again, we are gonna be using the same mod pack. We're gonna be using the same seed for both of these as well. And when we get to that part of the video, you're gonna see how much better Mojo Launcher really isn't compared to Amethyst and how much not better Amethyst isn't compared to Mojo Launcher. I'm gonna tell you right now, there I didn't notice a single difference really. You'll see like random jumps, okay? But you're not gonna see a huge significant difference between both of them. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you my options, my video settings, and this is my video settings, okay? Here's my quality settings. Here's everything right there. Performance, 
advanced, more calling, animations, particles, details, render, and extras. That's all you really need to know, okay? Now, Amethyst, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna jump into Amethyst, and I'm using mobile glues for Amethyst, by the way. And a big reason why I'm doing this video is because I'm really sick of people saying, what about Mojo Launcher? Mojo Launcher is the best. Mojo Launcher is better. And I have a lot of people that say that. The only reason why people say that is because, well, there's a reason why. And I'm not going to say it here on YouTube because YouTube might demonetize me. So yeah, maybe Google it. But anyways, quality, performance, advanced, more culling, animations. I don't understand how Mojo Launcher is on the Google Play Store, by the way, because it does something that it shouldn't be doing. But I'm not going to go there. That's for Google and... Uh, youtube to determine details render extras okay now you also notice that i'm also logged into my microsoft account on both of these so i have my mr dna account on one side and i also have my dna mobile account on the other side i have multiple different java accounts so those are my two main ones and that's all i'm going to say about that now what you're going to see in a few seconds here is basically on the screen i'm going to load into the game on both sides and you're going to watch me play on both sides and i'm just going to kind of yap about what i know on both sides of the screen while you watch the performance okay and you're gonna keep an eye on the FPS counter in the middle of the screen I've already set this up already and you're gonna watch me basically jump into the game on both sides and you're going to see me use the same seed. I'm gonna to try to basically manipulate the same thing that I did the last time kind of thing. And if I spawn in a different spot, then whatever, it's not gonna make a huge difference. The whole thing is that no matter what, when I jump into either Amethyst or a Mojo Launcher and play the game, they're both gonna run about the same, even with the LTW render. Now there is a little bit of a different performance when you use like angle on the Mali GPUs and stuff like that, but that's a whole different ball game, okay? So I'm using a Snapdragon Odin 2, you can see the background, the wallpaper on this, it says Odin 2. If people ask me, what's your device, bro? That means that you didn't watch the video or listen at all. And I get it, there's language barriers, but I'm not gonna go there either. So let's jump in and actually see what kind of performance we get. So on the left-hand side, we have Mojo Launcher. And on the right-hand side, we have Amethyst. What I'm doing right now is just basically entering the same seed so that it's kind of fair, so that you can actually see the performances and basically follow along while we kind of take a gander at what kind of FPS we're getting, because that's the big deal here, is seeing the FPS counter on the top middle of the screen. Now, the stability of this FPS is going to be what we're gonna be looking for. We're not looking for once we load into the game or anything like that, and we're also gonna be looking for, you know, basically the different areas that we're gonna be running to and everything. Like right now, both of these are doing about the same. I know people are gonna be like, oh, I I can notice there's like 50 fps difference bro well honestly there's not really that big of a dip or difference and it's really hard to actually play the same you know game on both screens with the same animals in the screen and everything like that and get the best stability now i did notice a couple stutters like as you can see on the left hand side right there there were stutters with ltw render but when i got around this area and i was jumping up here we were both getting 600 plus fps on this device so like mobile glues was getting like almost 700 fps for a second there but i tried to run in the same areas i tried to basically you know, run in the same fields. And near the end of this, I do run to like the same village and everything like that. Like, as you can see, the FPS counter, they're both getting around averaging 47, 470, okay? And that's what you're looking at is like this average counter on the right-hand side. So this average counter, they're both about the same. Okay, the max that the the right one got is 515, which is very important too. Like that big of a difference, is that really gonna, you know, determine if you are going to use Mojo Launcher over Amethyst Launcher? I don't think so myself. I don't really care what launcher you use. I don't care what launcher anybody uses, honestly. I don't want people starting wars about which launcher is the best because the performances don't show any differences as of today, right now. They still don't show much of a difference. Now, maybe the mobile glues renderer is better when it comes to Mali GPU devices because it has the angle option. But when it comes to like the maxes and the averages and everything like that, as you can see here, they're both getting about the same. And yeah, I'm gonna let you know that. Use what you want. They're both good launchers. So to end this off, I think both launchers have their own benefits. Both launchers might have their disadvantages, but in the end, what do you decide? That's up to you.